What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here and I welcome you back to the continuing adventures of everyone's favorite blue bomber in 3D, Mega Man Legends for the PlayStation 1. In the last episode, we did, you know, side mission stuff. I started the museum thing and then we went ahead and I think we got a few other items like this fancy little helmet thing that Mega Man is wearing. So now he actually kind of really looks like Mega Man of sorts. I, you can't really get a good front view from him unless he's like running at the camera. The helmet really does look too big for him. It's a little awkward, but at least we have it now. We are Mega Man. We have the helmet. We have the buster. We have the side weapon, which is a vacuum arm. Because we got that as well. So now in this episode, I said that we will be doing story stuff and... I'm gonna be honest with you, I hope that I have enough time to get a little bit of that done. Because there was actually things I forgot to do in the last episode and the one before that, that I kinda wanna get done before I move on to the second dungeon. But before I do that, I decided to come here inside of the uh, Cardon Woods, um, what is that, uh, the dungeon that we're here, the first sub ruin and everything, uh, in order to show you guys how I managed to get that 430,000 zenny. Woo! Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, it was probably about an hour and a half or so of grinding, give or take, and I want to show you guys how I did it, just so if you were playing this at home or whatever, or you just want a good, easy money grinding area, to come here and give it a shot. So, with Mega Man, I have him equipped with the vacuum arm that is completely, fully maxed out. His buster is the laser, giving him the highest amount of laser, or a highest amount of attack that I can give him at this point in the game. And then the sniper range, which gives him the highest range you possibly can get at this point in the game. That's really all you need. Energy is like whatever. So, I mean, if you have good stuff, then might as well. But you want a lot of attack and you want a lot of range. And you want to just keep blasting these, like, uh, little nest things here. Because after, well, in the green thing, it should be 12 uh, shots. It explodes into a lot of zenny. Kill everything else. And then suck it all in. Ooh, yeah. See, so quick and efficient. It's amazing. And no matter where the zenny is and no matter where the health is on the screen, the vacuum arm just sucks it all right in. Um, the point of this is, as you can see, it, those things drop a lot of zenny, so you definitely want to suck in as much as possible. Um, it's all a matter of chance on if it's going to drop uh, blue crystals or purple crystals or sometimes even green crystals. Come on, you guys. So, it's, it may not be the... Come on, go away, damn it. It uh, may not be the fastest thing sometimes, but it is very, very good to do at this point in the game. And even later on, a lot of people I read, like, come back here almost all the time in order to refill their Zenny count, because you get quite a bit. I had, uh, 430, and now, so I got 12,000 right there, which wasn't so bad. And now, in order to reset the nests, you need to kind of leave and come back. But the way I like to do it, I've seen people go up the elevator in order to just go back outside and then come back on in. No, I like using my jump ability and then going back over here and entering the Catalox Ruins. Because this one room right here has four of those little guys in it, which should be right here's the first one. Uh, of course, he's going to give me a purple this time. Out of all the times I ran and did this, they gave me blues. Now you're going to give me crap, aren't you? Yep, you're giving me crap. And, oh, uh, really? Kill it. Kill it, Mega Man. I killed the other one. Ow. Thank you. Run. Run from the little thingy. There we go. I got one blue. So there you go. Those guys have a high probability of dropping blues any. So sometimes, if you're lucky, you can get an additional 2,000 right from them. And then it just keeps adding up from there. So that was like 13,000. That was a weak one. That was not the best uh, run I could have had for it. Normally, you probably get between 15 and like 20,000 zenny, maybe even a little more depending on how lucky you are. But there you go. That is what I did in order to be able to earn the amount of money that I have, which honestly still isn't even enough to uh, do everything that I want to do. And you're going to see, I'm going to be buying stuff in this episode and you're going to be like, holy crap. That's a lot of zenny, so keep this little method in mind. Now then, I need to go actually back up to the top of the map to go into uh, the Catalox Ruins again from a different area that I didn't know that I should have at the time when I passed it. Let me explain. See where I am down on the bottom, the little blue blinking dot for the Cordon Forest? I need to now jump to here. 
the Catalog's Ruins entrance here in the Closure Woods. This is right next to where we fought Teasel and his Marwolf, the big yellow machine where they were trying to dig up the uh, sub-ruin entrance. Actually, even more specifically, now that we're here, uh, this is where I got the flower. The flower was actually uh, over here. I haven't used that for anything yet, but that's where I got it. And I talked about this entrance, but I never went into it because I thought I'd be able to get here a little bit later when I was doing all that running around before. Turns out that technically I could have gotten into it, but not until much, much later. And I'll show you what I mean once we go down in here. There's really just one or two items that I'm looking for in here, but, uh, you know, can't go wrong with gaining some extra zenny or anything along that way, so let's go ahead in. Uh, this right here, this blue door, if you see all the way on the left end, we have already been here. This is where I was, and yes, technically I could have gotten in here before, but because I didn't have the tool necessary in order to be able to open it up, there was no way for me to do it. And I thought I was able to, but I was wrong. Uh, gotta open up these a lot from the side. Okay, good. Zenny. There's a lot of fake traps in this particular uh, area, so just be very, very careful. Let's move on up here, and I think this is... This is technically the area that I would want to be in initially. This is where the item is that I'm looking for. I believe I passed that one as well, but I'll get it on the way out. Um, I should have been able to do this before. You can do this before you finish that uh, that whole, um, like, before you even fight Teasel. Because technically, you know, up there is the box that we need. And even though I have the super jump to be able to get up there, you can come over this way. And I'm going to because, oops, not this one. Uh, where is it? Unless it's all the way back here. There's a, a entrance way somewhere around here. Is this it? Yes, I think so. Yeah, that'll actually bring you up to the second floor. So you don't need to have the super jump in order to be able to uh, do this. Of course, it makes it easier if you so happen to fall off and everything. You don't have to worry about, you know, running all the way back up and this kind of the other thing. You can just kind of jump and make your way back up there. But for right now, I'm going to destroy all of these things. There's a few random enemies around, mostly a lot of bomb guys. See, look at all these guys right here. Come on, activate. Everyone activate. Boom, 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 boom. That's fine by me. Anybody grab anything? Yep. Love the vacuum. Oh, man, vacuum arm. You are absolutely amazing. Grab this. And... Yeah, see, right there. That's what I'm saying. If you missed the jump, at least I'm able to get it. And that chest right there is what we want. Oh, run, 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 run! Open! Before he explodes! We get the cannon kit! Which is another sub-weapon for Mega Man, and actually one that'll be fairly useful in the upcoming fight. Now, before I move on and everything, or at least before I get out of here, I am going to move on to other sections of uh, this area. Again, just to get them out of the way. Plus, I believe this ends in a dead end, so why not? Um, da -da 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 -da. Most of these have traps, so be careful. Nope, that's not a trap. I don't mind being proven wrong that they're not traps. Does not bother me one bit. Throw these up. Boom. Boom. <laughs> ah, sneakies! Good. Shoot. Shoot. Good. Good. Oh, and I can hit that guy? Sweet. Good. But he can probably hit me as well. I'm thinking he can hit me as well. Did he die? No. These guys, yeah, these are uh, different colored Reaver bots than what we fought before. We fought the green ones, and now we're fighting these uh, red guys, which pretty much just shoot fireballs at Mega Man in a straight line, but they can be a little annoying because there's a lot of them down here, and they can gang up on you fairly quickly. Whoa, get away. Hey, did I shoot you a lot before? Yes, I did. Explosion, there we go. Two more down this way. Oh, man, I didn't... Okay, good, that's... <laughs> just out of my range. Because the second you hit one of them, then it aggro's to you, and then, you know, you can... Hey! What the hell is that about? Get back here, you. Shoot him, shoot him. Ooh, no. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Nice. I don't think there's anything else here. This is just like a, uh, a dead end. Yep. Okay. So, let's open this one from the side. That's a trap. Ha, <laughs> I'll take that. Even though he did hit me a little bit. I think this one may be a trap, too, actually. Yep. Get that dead. Take a little bit of damage, but it could drop some health. And now there's you. Oh, you're a trap. Look at him, see? Three traps in a row. Finally! Things that happened that I said were going to happen. Woohoo! And then there is this one, which is not a trap, right? Come on. Open. Open. Yes, the triple access... Um, Triple access buster part, which I believe once we give that to Roll, she'll be able to make us just something that we can attach onto our buster to make it nice and like 
powerful and whatnot. So we'll be able to go do that on our way back in. But that's it. That is all that I wanted to do in this section. As you saw, it basically ended in a dead end, so we won't ever have to come back here again. And I need to get down here. That opened... Uh, da, 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 da. I need to go this way. This is the exit. I get turned around a little bit here. There we are. So now we can leave this area and I can actually see if that was a chest or whatever that I passed on the way in. I thought it was. I thought there was a little alcove or something that had, uh... Oh yeah, see right there. I knew it. Thought so. Open this one from the side because this is a trap. There you go. None for you. And then we inspect the wall. And we are able to grab a refractor that has... 1,510 Ooh, zenny in it. And there you go. That is all that is in this particular section of uh, the uh, the northern area um, uh, catalogs of ruins. Pop, 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 and out. Go out this way. And here we go. Now, on the way back, I am going to stop at the, uh, the junk shop place. What is this again? Closure. Closure Woods. There you go. Cardon Forest, Closure Woods, and then we'll be going to Lake June um, as soon as we are done with this remaining things. Now, this is something that I like to do before heading into the second dungeon. This is just my particular play style, my particular need in order to have before moving forward. Not that I'm like, you know, a bad player. I'm just a cautious player. And by that I mean I like buying the absolute best armor you can have in the game before heading into the second forest. And uh, the second sub rune, I'm sorry. And with that money grinding method, it's really completely plausible. It's not that hard at all in order to be able to do. You just gotta remember how much those pieces of armor cost. And remember what I told you before about things costing a ridiculous amount of money? Yeah, watch this. Um, items? Okay. Kevlar jacket. This is my basic upgrade. Go from one fourth damage to one quarter, or one half, I'm sorry. From a quarter damage reduced to a half damage reduced. No problem, we're gonna buy that. 36,000, awesome. Make your predictions right now before I hit the button. What do you think the next price is going to be for those of you out there? Maybe double that, so like, what's that, 72,000? Maybe 80,000, 90,000? How about 120,000? in order to get an armor that reduces damage by three quarters. That is ridiculous. But I did it, so <laughs> I have it now. Isn't that amazing? Um, I am not going to buy these yet. Uh, what I am going to do is I am going to go here. I have seven. Let's do eight, nine, ten, eleven... And 12. There we go. Get 12. And you know what? Why not? Let's just... Again, I'm going to buy them now just so I can mark them off my list in my little book to say that I have them and to say that I have, you know, all of the buster parts I possibly can. Now, with the remainder of my money, I am going to turn around and I'm going to head back into the city hall area, which is where Roll is. Remember, she cannot come out this way because the support card can't make it through the little door or whatever. So we'll go back in here. If I get there fast enough. And then we'll go into the sport car and we'll give Roll all the cool new stuff that we got. We'll get some new items. We'll do a little bit of upgrading. And then, my friends, we will be able to move forward with the story. Oh, boy. Now, Mega Man... Oh, that's right. I forgot that this happens. Yes, we are Mega Man. They've been waiting for us. Thanks to your contribution, we were able to rebuild this building. Look at the police station. It's all brand spanking new. They have two heliports now. Ain't that something? So that's awesome. That is great that the police station is fully functional. Once again, we'll be able to do the subquest in there. And it just makes the island look nicer. So it makes you makes me feel good. Job well done, Mega Man. Good job. Let's head on in here. And we're gonna talk to Roll. And we're gonna let her sift around through our crap. Okay. And ta-da! The cannon kit is used to make the powered buster special weapon. There, I was able to make a new weapon. This weapon has a really long range and a pretty good punch, but its rate of fire isn't that great. Don't forget that when you get into a fight. And, oh, I guess the uh, the triple buster thingy or whatever is going to be used for something else a little later. So, good to have, never can tell. So, let's go to the special weapons. And actually, what I am going to do is I am going to put on that powered buster. Where is that? Grenade arm. There we go. Powered buster. Very good. 
And with that equipped, I am now going to go to Enhance Weapon. And I'm not going to enhance it fully, but I am going to enhance a few things. First thing, I'm going to do uh, Attack once, and then I'll do Attack again, and I think that's it. Okay, I wanted to max out the attack. Um... Uh, I'm going to do range once, and then I'm going to do a little bit more energy just to be safe. Okay, that's about it. I could continue. Oh, the energy's maxed out. Range is only 32. Whatever. Did I max it out? Did I end up maxing out this weapon? No, the range could go a lot further. No, I'm not going to do that. That's fine. Um, I'm pretty sure this would be the last level, then range would be maxed, but I really wanted the attack to get maxed out because I'm going to be using that in the upcoming fight a little bit later. So there we go. That's all that. Nothing else good. Let's hit the never mind. Actually, why don't we go ahead and take the support car uh, uptown. Drive me there, roll. Playing a little bit of driving Miss Mega Man Daisy here. All right. Thank you, my dear. We could talk to Data, but I'm not going to. He can just dance like Data, like the funny monkey he is. And now that we are up top, we are exactly where we need to be. Right here at Wiley's Boat Shop. Yes, Wiley. The Mad Doctor from the original Mega Man game. This is his uh, incarnation, I guess you could say, into this game. And quite frankly, it's a little weird. It's, it's extremely odd. Like, I don't know. I wish that they had given him a better part. Like, made him, I don't know, evil, possibly? What do you got to say for yourself? You hear what happened? Someone stole all the boats here! What, what, I, I thought I saw one. Oh, okay, there is only one left, but it's broken down. Duh, it's nothing. Yeah, it's right over there. I want to get to that boat. Can we get to that boat? No? Can we not get to the boat? No, because of invisible walls! I hate invisible walls. Like, this is so stupid. Why can't I just jump over it? I clearly, well, clear it quite a bit. Uh, in a box, anything in this box. Refractor shard. Ooh, 20 zenny. That just belongs to the kid over there. She just kind of dropped her uh, shard in there about this one. Anything in here? I always check the stuff. That's empty. Alright, in we go into the boat shop. And then, this is it. So, what do we got here? This is a little, like, boat. It's a model of a boat. These boats look very weird, by the way, but that's okay. We'll be able to use it. No kidding, Mega Man! Unless you can shrink, you'll be able to, we'll be able to do anything. We got this guy over here who's just standing in the corner. I want to rent a boat, too. What? Oh, on the ruins? No, 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 not me. You look like junk shop owner or whatever. Are you people like naturally like cowards? Everyone that looks like this? I guess so. And behind us is Wiley himself. There he is. Standing behind the counter, all uh, mustachey like. They even gave him an eye patch. I'm not sure why, but that, that's him. Let's talk to him. Need a boat? Normally, you can take your pick. But we don't have any boats right now. Sorry. And that's it. That's all he has to tell me is sorry. He has a great fish up there, but no boats. Great. Let's go back out here. Uh, sorry, no boats there either. What do you mean? There's a boat there. There's absolutely a boat. What do you mean someone stole all your boats? You got one left. Stop saying you don't have any boats when you have one left. I don't care if it's broken down. I have, like, one of the world's greatest mechanics on my team. All right, so let's go into here, and we can talk to... Is there anything in this? Hello? Oh, there is. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. I like stuff. I like things. Factor shard! Ugh, ten. A little bit counts. Uh, what do you guys say for yourself, dude? The only thing wrong with this boat is the refractor casing and the coupling. If I had a big refractor, like yours, I could probably fix it. Well, isn't that convenient? We have this huge refractor shard that we got from the last ruins, and we have no idea what to do with it. Could it be something we need in order to progress the storyline? Let's call Roll and find out. Someone's been taking really good care of this boat. There! She just helps herself. Well, do you really think you should be doing that? Would you look at this engine? Let's see. All we need to do is fix the transformer and the refractor, and it'll be as good as new. Well, you gotta admit, she loves her work. Huh? Um, Mega Man, could you hand me a wrench? Huh. Uh. Just a sec, Roll. And Wiley is so nice to us, it's weird. I'm not used to him being nice, or helpful, or a good guy. 
There we go, all fixed. Whoops. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I just started fixing the ship and... You really love machines, don't you? I can tell just by looking at your face. Smudgy. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> well, your face. It's covered with grease. <laughs> I'm glad I could get someone as pretty as you to fix my boat for me. You hitting on my sister, dude? Tell you what. You can use it anytime you want. We'll be able to get to the island now. That's great. Let me know when you want to go out to the island. I'll pilot the boat for you. See you later. Okay. Your mouth didn't move, Mega Man. What's that about? Oh boy. Anyway, so there we go. We now have a boat to be able to get ourselves over to the Lake June Ruins. And after we take this boat, then Wily really will have no more boats left. That is just our contribution to it all. So, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427. In the next episode, we will be taking this boat out to Lake June. It should be an easy trip, right? Nothing could go wrong, right? Because if it did, then, you know, it's not like we're not prepared or anything along that ways. You guys have a good one, and I will catch you all later. Dance, day to dance. Woo.